We've had a lot of different breeds of dog questions coming in. Talk to us a little bit about breed selection. If you're trying to, maybe for the holidays, you put it off buying a pet for the holidays because you know it's a busy, stressful time. But if you're now thinking about getting a pet, or especially dogs, talk to me about how do I select the right breed for my family. Well, first you've got to decide what kind of function you want that pet to serve. Okay. Do you want it to be good with children? Okay. Okay, do you want it to be a watchdog? You know, you have to decide if it's going to be a constant companion. And then I would go ahead and research the breeds that you're interested in because there's so much difference in between breeds. If you want a dog that's good with children, you probably don't want one that's very nervous, yeah. <laughs> very excitable, you know, uh, uh, that tends to hate uh, jerky movements. Yeah. You know, oftentimes uh, a four pound uh, puppy dog is not good especially a chihuahua maybe uh, when you're dealing with uh, smaller children and jerky movements because uh, they have a tendency to be a little bit more afraid uh, especially when you're that size that yeah. you know somebody uh, 20 pounds comes by you know and uh, falls on them so <laughs> what if you're looking for maybe uh, the different energy uh, type dogs they're high energy dogs and they're lower energy dogs tell me what's, <laughs> what I would want if I want something to go walking with me or, or to be an exercise companion or what I would want if I just want a nice quiet house dog. Right, if you want something to be a constant companion, you might want to think about a Shizu, maybe a toy poodle, mm -hmm. something that will follow you around. You know, uh, if you want something with a lot more energy, then you might want to try something like a Jack Russell. If you want something to go jogging with you, you might want to go with one of the retrievers, yeah. German Shepherd, you know, different uh, uh, sizes, you know, and also another important thing is if you like to brush or not. Yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, especially with these long-haired dogs, most people cannot handle an Afghan hound yeah. uh, and the brushing that goes along with it. So are you going to be willing to have that pet groomed every so often? Yeah. Or if you have allergies and don't appreciate dog hair all over the couch, you know, uh, are you going to uh, go with a dog that doesn't shed and that way have it groomed more often? Good points. And we wanted to ask you about some low energy dogs because we talked about the high energy dogs that might go running with you, go walking with you. If I'm looking for a dog that's just going to be kind of relaxed around the house, let's talk about some breeds that might be good choices. Sure. I, I think uh, basset hounds are, are, are tough to, to, to beat as far as uh, getting yeah. up. Uh, uh, well, you can't beat that for low energy. <laughs> but they're beautiful. No, they have good personalities they too. Yeah. They, they certainly do. But here again, it depends on what you want that particular dog uh, for. If you want something to, uh, to sit with you all the time, yeah. toy poodles sometimes. I know they have yeah. a rap for, for being uh, high energy, but uh, truthfully, uh, Poodles, uh, miniature poodles, and uh, even standards sometimes are, are are the type that will follow you everywhere and and keep you at uh, uh, company all the time. There are a couple of standard poodles in my neighborhood that are just beautiful, wonderful. Dogs.